Hey everyone, this is Grant, and today we are going to be going over percussion synthesis. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to be doing a patch from scratch. As you can see, there's no cables. Um, so you'll have to forgive me. My voice is a little funny right now. I've got a cold. Um, but otherwise, let's get straight into it. So the first things I'm going to be making here, I'm going to be making a kick drum. Um, it's pretty easy. I'm going to be using angle grinder, a VCA, and two envelopes. So let's get into it. So what I'm going to need to do is set up my sequencer. Have my sequencer Mito trigger the envelopes. Go. You can see it's triggering. I'm going to take one envelope out and I'm going to go into a attenuator. I'm going to take that same envelope and go into pitch. Okay. I'm going to take the output of angle grinder into a VCA, which is going to be controlled by the second envelope. And now I'm going to go out to a mixer. And we have the start of our kick drum. So as you can hear, it's a little laser kicky. So that's what the attenuator's for. I'm going to bring that down. Then I have the kick ringing out a little more than I would like. So I'm going to take the amp envelope, bring it down. There we go. There's a basic kick drum. There we go. You obviously can mess with the parameters and make the kick drum pretty much everything you want. So let's go and let's make some FM percussion now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take HMVCO and I'm going to have it modulate uh, angle grinder. So I need a longer cable. Uh, take the saw output, run it through a VCA and back in to FM2 on Angle Grinder. Cool. Out Angle Grinder into a VCA. And then VCA to Mixer. There we go, I like that. So now, let's take another envelope. And let's open up that percussion. There we go. Now turn the uh, kick back up. Now 
I'm going to take a second envelope and I'm going to send it to the modulating oscillator. That's not doing much. Send it to here. So now we have a kick drum and we have an FM hit. There we go. Now I'm going to start modulating the sequencer a bit. Now we got a little pattern going. So now what I'm going to want is kind of a hi-hat sound, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a noise source and we're going to make hi-hat. <clears throat> so we're going to go from the noise on kinks into the VCA on boundary. We're going to trigger the VCA real fast. Turn that on. Okay, we'll go out from that VCA so we can hear it. Cool. There's our hi-hat. Now that's just white noise. So say I wanted to make this a little more complicated, a little more fun sounding. Um, I'm going to take interstellar radio as opposed to white noise. Oh, there we go. And then we can modulate that. Now we've got variable percussion going, kind of like something you'd have here at a BIA or a dedicated drum module. So lastly, I'm going to ping Belgrad, which is my favorite filter in the world. So I'm going to take a super short trigger and send it into the audio in on Belgrad with the resonance up so that it is almost self oscillating. Not quite though. modulate that there we go now let's add the kick back in boom you have some awesome IDM percussion now
get a bonus and let's throw this all through clouds. Modulate the position in the wet dry. And you've got a Grant Boss type beat. That's basically it, everyone. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, hopefully I explained enough. I know I wasn't on the mic as much as I probably should have been, but you know, it's, it's a work in progress. So if anyone has any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.